We're gonna start seated. So you can come down to your mat. And let's start. We're gonna start with just a calm breathing. Just relax. Sit in an easy pose, whatever is easy for you. If you want, you can also sit on a pillow or even on a chair. Everything is fine. Relax your arms. If you want, you can bring your hands in the Jin Mudra and close your eyes and focus on your own thoughts, on your own energy. Feel how your body is today. It's a little bit difficult time now with Corona and the quarantine and we are sitting very long during the day. Me, for example, I didn't go the whole day today. I didn't leave the house. So it's a very passive life. And this is why this yoga class will be very relaxed and a lot of stretching. Just try to relax, try really to think to use this one hour to recharge your body with some positive energy and self-love. Breathe in very deeply. First, you expand your stomach. Pulling your diaphragm up to the floor, making more space for your chest. Then you open your chest, feeling in here. And then all the way, your shoulders, your throat. And you breathe out the same way. First, you squeeze your stomach in, push your diaphragm up. Then your chest is coming back, and then your throat, another time. And one more time. Now we will do one minute of energizing breathing. It's also deep breathing. We breathe in, and then we will very, very energetically breathe out. And fast breathing and out. In and out. Now, let's do this for one minute long, starting now. For a very short pranayama, you can use your right hand to first close your right nostril, breathe in through your left, close both, and then breathe out through your right, and then the other way around. Breathe in through your right, hold, and then breathe out through your left. Let's do that together. Close your right nostril and breathe in through your left. And then close both of them. And then open your right nostril, breathe out. Now breathe in through your right nostril. 
Close both. And now open your left and breathe out. Nice. All right, now let's go for a little warm up. Let's first warm up the neck. So you're breathing. Then when you breathe out, bring your neck down. And then when you breathe in deeply, slowly, breathe and bring your neck all the way up and even a little bit to the back. And let's do this one more time. Breathe out, neck forward. Keep your back straight. And breathe in a little back bend in your neck. Good. Let's go now to the left and to the right. To the other side. One more time. And again. Great. Okay. Let's now warm up a little bit the shoulders. Breathe in. Bring your arms up. And breathe out. Shoulders down. Breathe in. Hold one. Breathe with the other hand. And breathe out. Pull to the side. Strong. Pull. Breathe in, return and exchange. And breathe out again. One more time, breathe in, in the middle. And stretch. All right, now let's just warm up a little bit also the torso, breathe in and breathe out, twist towards one side, you can use your hand to push yourself a little bit deeper in the twist. Stay there, breathe in and breathe out. And then return and change the side. All right, from here, let's move to all fours to your knees and your hands. And then we will warm up a little bit the wrists. So first, in the first position, your knees are underneath your hips, shins pressing into the floor, your hands just underneath your shoulders, and your fingers pointing forward. Breathe in and breathe out. And then turn your hands such that your fingers are pointing to the outside. And again, breathe in, breathe out. Now one time, turn your hands to the inside, so fingers are meeting in the middle of the mat. And breathe in, and breathe out. Good. 
Nice. Return to the original position with your fingers fully. And let's go for cat and cow a couple of times to warm up our back. Breathe in, look up. And breathe out. Flex your back gently, opening your shoulder blades. Bend your head, your head and your neck to the inside. And now again, breathe in, look up. And breathe out. Look down. One last time. From here, we will stand up and start with some very uh, slow and easy sun salutations. On the way up, you can relax your back a little bit longer. Pull your uh, elbows left, right, up and down, forward and back. Relax completely and one vertebra after another. Bring yourself to the upright position. From here, let's start with the sun salutation. You can move to the top of your mat. Bring your hands in the mountain pose, palms facing forward. Toes are together, hips slightly upright, your back is straight. Breathe in, open your arms sideways. And breathe out, bring them in front of you in the prayer pose. Breathe in, bring them up again. And breathe out, forward fold, with your arms completely straight. Until you can touch the floor. At this point, breathe in, half lift. You can either touch the floor with your hands, or you can press your hands against your legs, but in any case, use this position to stretch your back. Pull the crown of your head in this direction. Breathe in, stretch. And then breathe out. Bring your hands to the mat, your knees to the mat, your chest to the mat. And then breathe in. Hips go down to the mat and head goes up, mini cobra. From here, breathe out, push yourself to a child pose. Stretch. And then bring yourself up. And then we'll go for a little stretch of your uh, lower arms. So bring your arms from the elbow down to the floor. And breathe in, try to lean your upper body um, forward. Return. Now turn your hands to the other direction, palms facing up, and do the same exercise one more time. Lean forward and stretch your lower arms. Return. Stretch one more time in your child's pose. And then breathe in. Bring yourself up. Breathe out forward fold. 
Breathe in, close your hands and bring them up. And breathe out, finish in the prayer pose. Nice. I wish I had a little bit more space. Unfortunately, I don't have. But I will try to push this a little bit more to the bed. Let's do this one more time. Mountain pose. Now we will go with sun salutation with the down dog. Breathe in. Bring your arms up laterally. Stretch completely and you can even go for a little bed bend. Breathe out. Bring your hands to your chest. Pray pose. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. And breathe out forward fold. Breathing half lift. And breathe out knees to the mat. Your chest to the mat. Breathing mini cobra or up dog, what you want. And breathe out. Let's go for the first down dog. Bring your hips up. In your first down dog today, breathe in. Bend your knees. Breathe out. Stretch. Breathe in. Back. Breathe out. And we are. Hold this position for a little while. Try to bring your heels down to the mat. And then breathe in and look up. Bring your feet to the beginning of the mat. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, bring your hands up. And breathe out, close. Great. Let's go for sun salutation B. We're going to start from a chair position. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, bring your hands down to your chest. Breathe in, chair, lift your hands up. In your chair, check whether you can still see your toes. You should be able to see them. If you cannot, pull your sitting bones a little bit more deep down. All right, breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. And breathe out, to knees. Pushing your chest down. Breathe in. Bring yourself for your up dog and stay there. Next time you breathe out, bring your hips up, push your toes into the mat, down dog. From here we will go for a low lunge. Breathe in, bring your right foot between your hands and your knee down to the mat. 
and breathe in, bring your arms up. Open up your chest, shoulders set down. Breathe in, expand, breathe out. Bring your hands down to the mat. Breathe in, open your right arm and do a little twist in your upper body. Breathe out, bring your hand to your lower back and push slightly forward. If you can, lift your lower leg and try to grab your foot and press inwards. Lean forward and stretch. Release. Bring your hands down to the mat. Bring your leg down to the mat. Bring yourself back to the down dog. Stretch and then we will do the same for the other side. Breathe in, bring your left leg forward. Your right knee down to the floor. Breathe in, arms up. Relax your neck, open up your chest, shoulders are soft and down. Breathe in, extend, breathe out, bring your hands down to the mat. Breathe in, open up your left arm. Breathe out, bring your left arm to your lower back. Gently press forward. If you can, lift your lower leg. Try to grab your foot. Pull slightly inwards. Open up your hip. Feel your quadriceps stretching. Release, return your hands, your feet, go back to down dog. Stay in your down dog. Try to bring both your heels down to the mat. If that is difficult, then you can pedal one leg at a time. One leg goes forward, the other leg. Alternating heels pushing down the mat. All right, breathe in, look up, and bring your legs to the top of the mat. Breathe out, first fall. Breathe in, check. And release. All right. We will do one more sun salutation, and this one will be either warrior one and warrior two. Let's do this from the same position. Mountain pose. Breathe in, open up your arms. And breathe out, bring your arms in the arms in front of your chest. Breathe in, sit in the chair, bring your arms up. Breathe out, forward forward. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, bring your knees. Down to the mat, your chest. 
Breathe. So, and breathe out down the Again, we will start with the right leg. Breathing, bring your right leg forward. Breathe out, fix your left foot for 90 degrees. Breathing, open up your arms. Push your hips forward. Check the position between your feet. Sit a little bit deeper. Relax your shoulders. Relax your gaze. From here we will go for warrior two. Breathe in, extend up. Breathe out. Replace slightly the position of your Feet sessions, they come in one line, open up your arms, or your two. Your hips are pointing towards the long side of the mat, your head towards the top of the mat. This is a hip opening position. Keep your back strong. Your knee should be just above your wrist and slightly pointing outwards. Your arm should be in one line. Breathe in, extend the length between your fingers and breathe out. Rotate yourself down to down dog. From here, we will go for the left side. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, rotate your right foot. Breathe in, bring your arms up. And bend your knee. Sit a little bit deeper, push your hip a little bit more forward, breathe in, extend, and breathe out, bring yourself to warrior two. Relax your shoulders, open your chest, twist your neck. Breathe in, extend the length between your fingers and breathe out, rotate yourself to down dog. From the down dog, we will continue for a pigeon flow. First, take your time, catch up with your breathing in your down dog. Gaze in between your legs, your feet is at the hip distance. Your fingers are open. Next time you breathe in, bring your right leg up. Relax, dog. Breathe in, make the leg as much as you can and breathe out. Swing your leg forward for half pigeon. In your half pigeon, Take care that your foot is flexed. Protect your knee. Extend your left leg backwards. 
If it's hard, then you can push your toe in the floor and flex a little bit your hip before you lay it completely down. If it's not a problem, bring your hands just in front of your lower leg. Push your chest up. Your right hip should be sitting on the floor. You should have good balance in here. Even if you lift your hands, you should be able to maintain this position. If it's okay for you, bring your elbows down to the floor or a reclined pigeon. Relax your upper body, your neck. Breathe in, lift yourself up, push your right hand into the floor in front of you. If you can, lift your lower leg and try with your left hand to hold your feet, your foot, and maybe slightly push inwards. If you want, you can try to lift your right hand. Let's do this for the other side. Bring yourself back to the down dog. And let's go for the left leg. Swing forward. Try to extend your right leg behind. Open up your chest. Bring your elbows down to the floor. Relax your upper body. Your shoulders, your back, your neck. Lift yourself up. Let's try if we can lift the lower leg from the floor and hold it. Come back to down dog. Alright. All right. Now continue from here with a dolphin pose. So from your down dog, try to bring yourself down to your elbows 
bring your hands together, interlace your finger in a fist. And then try to swing yourself slightly forward and back. And then one more time. And From here, come down to the child's pose. Relax your hands in front of you. Open up your knees. And rest forward. From here, pull your hands in front of you and lift your hips slightly up. Bring yourself into a puppy pose. Try to bring your chest closer to the mat. If you can, press your chin in the mat. All right, from here, lift yourself to a kneeling position and we will go for the jump. If kneeling is hard, you can use a pillow or a towel, a little blanket, support yourself in place, anything in between your feet. And then instead of sitting on your feet, you will be sitting on a soft, pillow or another object. If you can sit, in, sit on your feet, then keep your back straight, keep your shoulders open and relax. Bring your hands to the back, press your palms into your lower back and your elbows pushing backwards, open your chest as much as possible. Camel is a heart opening pose, just same like the puppy pose which you just did. It's a very hard one, so take it easy. It's a little bit easier when your knees are not completely together, but it's better if you can keep your legs together. And then you breathe in, you lift yourself up and push your hips forward by pressing your hands into your hips, into your lower back. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Try to bend backwards, still pushing your hips forward as much as you can. If it's not a problem, you can also extend by reaching your hips. Release the same way you have entered the pose. First release your heels and then come sit down. Now you can again return to child's pose for a second. And then push yourself up, cross your legs and come to a sitting position. We will turn to the back. We're going to go for a flow of a shoulder stand. If you don't want to do a shoulder stand, you can just do a candle, a flow, and a fish. 
Okay. So down to the back. Gently. One vertebra after another. If you have a little bit of a back pain, you can also use a little pillow to support your lower back. So you will place it here, just a little towel. It can be very nice. And then lift your legs up, flex your feet. If this feels comfortable for you, you can also extend to a shoulder stand. You lift yourself up, you support your lower back with your hands, gently pressing your palms into your lower back. Try to bring your elbows as close as possible to one another. And when you think that you have a good stability in this pose, you can extend your legs completely up. Breathing a couple of times, breathe in and breathe out. And then when you're ready, doesn't matter which position you have been, either candle or shoulder stand. When you breathe out, try to bend your knees forward. If you're here, then you try to extend your legs completely, still keeping your body in the same position, so your hips just above your shoulders, and then try to bend your legs until you can touch the floor. If you have strength, you can extend your arms behind your spine, interlace your fingers, and stash them out completely. Otherwise, you use them to support your back. When you need to release, bend your legs and gently one vertebra up to another. With holding your body, bring yourself down to the mat. From here, we will continue for the fish pose. So if you had your legs here, now you can just bring it down to the floor. You will use your elbows to push yourself and lift your upper body from the floor. So your elbows are close to your body. And by pushing your elbows, and relying on your shoulders, you will slowly find the strength to lift yourself up. When you are on your elbows, your legs are stretched out, your feet is pressed. Then you will breathe in, open up your chest, lift your chest up, and try to relax your neck. Pull you backwards. If you can, Bring yourself to the crown of your head. You still push your elbows into the floor. You lift your hands up, your fingers pointing to the ceiling. Your knees still having foundation in your elbows. If this is Easy for you, you can also place your hands underneath your lower back and then lift yourself up in this position. You can push your chest up, stretch your upper back, release anytime you want. And 
slowly bring yourself into a sitting position. Right, we will turn now to the belly and do a flow with a lotus, a bow, and rest in the crocodile pose. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, lower arms pressing into the floor, legs pressing into the floor. Breathe in, lift your head and your shoulders from the floor, crown pushing upwards and shoulders pushing down. Release. Right. Now, let's extend our arms next to the, our body and then breathing, lift both your head and your leg from the floor. One last time, if this is possible, you can also try to bring your arms underneath your body. For example, you can interlace your fingers and make a small fist. You're just finishing something above your pubic region. Or you can press your palms into the floor and then breathe in. Bring your feet while pressing them together from the floor and your shoulders. Really. Bring your hands under your forehead, one on top of the other, and rest in the crocodile pose. Your feet and your toes are touching, your heels are apart. My last back bend is a bow. We're starting from the same position, laying on the belly. You're going to lift your lower legs up and try to grab your wrists with your hands. If you have a good grip, that's fine. If you don't have, maybe you can use some belt or something like that to bridge the distance. And then breathe in and lift a little bit your legs from the floor and up again. Use the pressure between your legs and your arms to lift yourself up and back. Release. And again, rest in the crocodile pose. You can switch the side of your head to the other side. All right, now slowly bring yourself up. Let me see. Let's 
just enough time to finish the whole flow. Come back to the sitting pose. Keep your back straight. Press your palms into the floor and bring yourself into a staff position. Open up your chest. Stretch your back. Release. Bring your knees slightly up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fold and grab your toes with your peace fingers. Press your upper body into your legs. Use the pressure between your legs and your arms to extend your back and to press as hard as possible into your upper leg. Release. Bring your legs a little bit further and let's do the same exercise. Breathe in. And breathe out, fold your upper body until it reaches your upper legs and you use the pressure to really push your upper body into your legs. Breathe in. And now release. Stretch your legs out. Let's do this one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Fold. And release. All right. From here. Let's go for head to knee. Breathe in, bring your right knee upwards and breathe out, turn to the outside, pressing your foot into your thigh, into your leg. Breathe in, arms up and breathe out. Try to reach your uh, foot with your hands and bring your head down to your knee. Really, and change. Left leg up, breathe out to the side, breathe in, stretch, and breathe out, head to me. Release. Bring your legs uh, back in front of you. The foot always flexed when you are sitting in this position. And now we will go for the spinal torsion. Right knee up. Breathe in. Bring your right arm behind you. Breathe out. Breathe in. Left arm up. And then breathe out. Try to either hug your knee or press your elbow from the outside of your leg and stretch towards your back. It's a torsion in your spine, so be careful with this. The most important is that you stretch in this part of your spine. That happens only when you press your, elbow, your stomach into your leg, if you hang down like this, you cannot achieve it. And the position of the arm is less important, so this can also work quite well. 
the release, change, distance between your foot and the leg is about 5 centimeters. They don't really touch in this position completely. Left arm in the back, breathing, and breathe out, twist. Really? We'll do one more. Again, stretch legs out, breathing right knee forward. Again, the distance between your foot and the leg is about five centimeters. Your leg as close as possible to your hip, your upper body as close as possible to your hip. Stretch your right leg, right arm forward on the inside of your leg and then try to hug your leg from the outside and meet from the other side with your left arm pushing yourself forward as much as you can ideally until you touch your knee Give this and change. Push your left arm forward and breathe out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> and breathe out. Try to hug your leg from the Really? I think it's time to relax. We're gonna go for one more spinal stretch in the laying position. A happy baby. Any final savasana? Maybe. Then the first stretching today. Bring yourself gently down to your back. Breathing, bring your right knee up, hug your knee and press into your chest. This is a good stretch on its own for your leg. Breathing, press into your chest and breathe out, push your leg, right leg to the left. Stretch your right arm to the side and gaze above with your right hand. Keep your shoulders at the floor. Return. Take the other leg. Left leg up. Press your knee into your waist. Breathe in. Push and breathe out. Twist. Thank you. 
Release and return to the middle. Take the baby, bring both your knees up, lift them all the way to your chest, and bring your feet up facing the ceiling. And then grab your feet, it doesn't matter if it's from the inside or from the outside, but take care that your heels are just above your knees. And then press your heels down in the direction of your knees, stretching your feet, your pelvis. Release and come to a final salasana. Stretch your arms and your legs. Completely relax for about one or two minutes. Just close your eyes and enjoy the effects of this really wonderful stretching that you have. It was really well needed. I didn't have a good yoga class. It's a third week now already. And I'm sure that it's similar for you because we are working now from home. We don't have all the conditions. But we did our best. We did everything we could to improve ourselves to maintain ourselves and be proud of that. I hope you can really relax. I hope you can feel that your feet are completely relaxed and your legs, your hips, your back, your shoulders and your arms, your fingers are open and relaxed. Your face is soft and gentle. Your eyes are closed. You look into yourself and that area in between your eyebrows. You focus on yourself. You can completely stretch out. Move a little bit your fingers and your feet. And push yourself up. Gently come to your sitting pose. One more time. Thank you so much for this beautiful workout. I hope it was good for you. Let me know. Namaste.